All right, folks, the deck is Porcupine Hunter. The goal of the deck is to draw Augmented Porcupine, buff it with Don't Feed the Animals, and then copy the Death Rattle on board with either Lion or Parrot to get some additional shots to the opponent's face. If that fails, we do have the ability to copy multiple Zixor Apex Predators so that we can get a lot of the Primes shuffled into our deck. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raw. Pokey boys, indeed. Bugsley's 16th was on birthday? Well, happy birthday to him. That's exciting. <clears throat> Had him a cheeseburger happy meal for it? I'm sure he enjoyed that. Alright. So, hunt- er, I'm the hunter. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Druid is a matchup where the play might actually be uh, going towards the Zixor, just because um, it's going to take a lot of damage to get even close to killing a, a slow Druid. So, early Zixor might be something uh, worthwhile. Brouhaha, thank you for the two months. Take my prime, appreciate you keeping wild wild. I do my best. Thank you for that support. Uh, Ingenuity? Could get us a, uh, a piney boy. Hey, welcome, Gab. Sheep, hello. I was kind of hoping for a don't feed the animals just so that I had, oof, um, like a way to buff these, or I could corrupt it with the master's call and then buff everything in hand, but Job done. this actually isn't bad because that's like five uh, shots to the opponent. But I think I'm going to go with a Master's Call first. Hey, welcome, Ogre. Do -do. All right. I uh, need to start figuring this out. Um, basically, I just kind of need some buffs on the uh, the Porcupines. Oopsie. A is a chance to learn. That's what I tell myself, but then Twitch chat laughs at me, so who knows. Let's go here, here. We can copy a uh, porcupine with the, uh, the pack tactics. Top deck lethal. Thank you for the 100 bits. Any chance we'll see in a line cracker list soon? Uh, Yeah, maybe. I've been thinking about it, but like, I've done a, a lot of Druid decks of late. Um... Like, I, I've had it on my list for a, several months now, and I just keep bumping it because I want to do something else fun with the Druid instead. Alright, so... Clearly, it's Kazakus, man, uh, which does put me on a bit of a slower clock. I don't think we're in a Zixor game plan right now. So we've got seven showing on board. Uh, we can get another lion with this. Unfortunately, not only does that, uh, hmm, like, get them a lot of armor, but it gets their last remaining non- Ooh. Seems... Oh. That's, that could have been punished, but it was not, so I am sad. Yep. 
You're welcome, Easy Clapper. Hey there, Glitchy. Ali. This must be the way. Weird that they're not saving those for the Gazakas, man, right? I've got one more. I kind of want to save it for the buff turns, though. So much armor. Aren't they just going to delete that with the, the Gazakas man? summons minions, right? <laughs> Here we go. This scout, thank you for the 18 months. Happy 18 months, your content is always super entertaining and got me through a lot. Keep up the great work? Well, thank you. Happy to hear that. Why aren't you attacking into this? I want you to. Well, there goes the Zixor game plan. I need to find the other Serpent Bloom. If they're going to start getting a bunch of uh, dragons. Top deck lethal, thank you for the under bits. Nope. No more armor for you. Or potentially card draw. I know which one they want. Either one of these is probably fine for the uh, the pack tactics, but kind of a bummer to uh, have both of my don't feed the animals at the bottom eight of my deck. I assume they're going for attack this time. They just want to draw all of their... I think you have more than enough armor. You need pressure here. You're winning. Yeah, you definitely had more than enough armor. That was a 
bizarre game of Hearthstone. They definitely were holding an 8 mana card as well. Let's see if we can draw a don't feed this game. Do you feel the storm coming? My fang and claw. Look for a wander or um Master's Call and um Don't Feed, and then we just play this on two. These are not the cards we're looking for. Got him. Thank you for the prime. All right, this is reasonably likely to hit the porcupine. Uh, that's not bad either. Like, even with a Lotheb, I can full clear, like, a shutter board. Just rush into that. All corrupting my uh, don't feed here. And this is just a card I can kind of give away. Formation point rat. Actually, kind of a bummer hit for me, but at least I retained my damage. Not a good turn for a rat, though. All right, let's get some more cards out of my deck. Maybe get some more beasts than just the two that I have. A secret to hit. Unrecognized. Thank you for the prime. This is a perfectly fine devolve. Please do it. Thank you. Uh, huh. Looks like I didn't draw a card this turn. I don't want to use the pack tactics here, so I'm just going to take it slow. That's horrendous ordering into explosive. Maybe they attacked last turn and they knew it wasn't. Off check for second evolve, I guess. My time has come. You give everything I've got. Sure. Seems unlikely they attack into this here, but that's okay.
Does giving porcupine poison make it kill every minion with that death rattle? It's yes. Uh, GG. I've lost this game now. Good God. Just get me out. EC, thank you for the 46 months. Hello to you as well. Looking for Master's Call, Ingenuity, and uh, Don't Feed. I think Master's Call has the highest priority. Yeah, it's a board-based deck, so like I have a game plan against this. It's just the they're very aggressive, so... I wonder if it's Tavish and that's a way I could win. gonna overdraw. I need to save the coin for the Tavish, but I think that I've already lost this game. That mana burn was incredibly punishing. One mana 3-4 definitely exists. Wow. Yeah, it's... I mean, it's really inconsistent in this deck. There's, like, literally one fell spell, so... Unfortunately, I got punished for it. Dark Crichton. Thank you for the sub. A whiff king, thank you for the two months. Was the you say is the best pally deck for climbing currently? Uh probably a hand buff, aggro. Even is pretty good. There are a lot of good uh paladin decks right now. I don't know if one is like noticeably better than the other. I needed explosive. Tarim too slow is it worth it still? Uh, people are running Tarim and even Paladin. I didn't because I think he's way too slow. But uh, the deck's so good that people are still having success with it. Why is Odd Demon under popular again all of a sudden? Because people are realizing that it's been good this whole time. Uh, this is probably just worth keeping. It's a good hand. Uh, it depends on our matchup a little bit though. Okay. Got answers to that. So let's go... Actually just go here and draw some uh, 
secrets first. Dorschlack. Thank you for the prime. Kind of want to find the... Um, concede button. Why? What? No, that's nonsense. The what? How does that make any sense? Doo -doo. Okay, dread scale. I just need the poisonous. That's what I'm digging for. But like ogres here, right? That just sets them back on their. Clock, doesn't it? Wait for me. Wait for me. Look for poison. Got it. Job done. So we can freeze the, um, like, they should have two extra minions here, regardless of what they're thinking, but, like, I prevent the quest from getting played this turn with the Ice Trap is my goal here. It's unlikely that these ever attack into an Explosive Trap. Oh, they still have the mana for it because they have the prep. Never mind. But I should be at 5 health. Most of the way that they kill this is with a rushing minion. Like, I could see bouncing the uh, the initial pirate, but you don't want to bounce the second one, so I should at least be at, uh, what, 20, uh, 10? Unfortunately, that's probably GG. Today's stream so far has been 20 minutes of bizarre plays, but opponents high rolling. And just like the deck kind of being bad. But I knew that going in. I just... Ah, uh, you had a... a game from the left side of the hand! I should be dead! Well I can see. Oh my... Yeah. That game should have been over several turns ago. Science Daddy, thank you for the 13 months. I was worried that my 13 months would bring you bad luck, but it seems I can't make it much worse. Yeah, you're safe, you're safe. All right, keep the master's call. Hope to find, uh, don't feed. Yeah, this is the dream opener, right? We've got the tracking to go alongside it. I just need something for turn two, so I'm looking for a bunker or, um, that was a king's bone. Uh, bunkers ingenuity, or I could just go double master's call, coin call into call into don't feed, and then dead. Me, not the opponent. Do -do.
Yeah, probably gonna have to play the explosive trap here. And just say that these minions that I have are good enough. Honestly, they're pretty good hits already, so. We go here, here, and here, maybe? Or do I need to make a more aggressive play here and here? They're probably just not going to attack into my minions. I think my hand's way too slow to compete with this. Let's try and slow their buffs. I want to dodge a in it. I'll be of oil here. Oh. Well, It'd be nice if I could survive beyond turn five. Maybe just like one game that isn't against a druid. This hand is atrocious, I might as well concede. Like, I just get farmed by a uh, questline hunter. But at least I can survive until turn 5 this game. What are you doing?! I, 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 I legitimately can't take this if I'm just going to keep getting farmed by people making these plays. It just dies, but it heals for two. This is... <laughs> There's no world in which that play made sense. Or is ever the correct thing to do. Unless you're pointing it at an important minion on turn one. They also played bo both first halves of the rapid fire. I mean, that's like a very, very small thing that probably doesn't matter, but there's no reason to show the second one. That d that just doesn't make sense. Oh my god, I I I, I can't. I, what are you doing? What are you actually doing? Oh my. I, uh... All right, I apologize to my last opponent. That was 
little excessive. At least Chad isn't out here justifying their plays. Alright, Warlock, we can probably get low enough to uh, be able to burst them down. Problem is all the healing that they run and the fact that they full kept, but um, we'll see. Master's Call. Or I could go looking for a um, don't feed. Like a Master's Call seems fine. Like this, just draw all of our beasts. I can go explosive into Master's Call next turn. Takes me up to 9, then 10 with the uh, draw here, but I'm just going to have to overdraw a card. It's fine. Job's done. Rod. Probably one of my worst overdraws. Bummer. That just cost me a whole lot of damage. Still no porcupine. Niles, thank you for the sub. This is very likely to hit the porcupine. 
a 50-50 for it. That's the worst target it could have hit, unfortunately. Wind chill factor, thank you for the 27 months. And there goes my... Half of my wind condition. Is bad. But it also just, I don't know. This doesn't feel like it matters what I do against the decks that I'm queuing into right now. I mean, the, the opponent, despite the opponent's best efforts, in some cases, they're still winning games. Alright, keep the bunker. Could be good if I can find a feed. Got some damage here. No, don't. It's still good. Cute lock, which I was not expecting. That Serpent Bloom can do some work. Uh, let's go here. The next turn I go Porcupine Serpent Bloom. Because I need to be able to respond to the board, not the... Uh, not focus on damage. The truth is in here. Oh, it's just straight discard. If I didn't have the uh, the pack tactics, I probably would have held the um, the poison here. The, I, I was gonna say the poison makes them probably not want to attack into this, but I was wrong. Oh, opponent thinks that they're the greatest Dinomancer. Unbelievable. my face, you know.
bad things for the damage. Lethal. Wait, that animation was not satisfying at all! Come on! The whole point is for the, the pew pew! DISAPPOINTED! I think the only thing we can do now is cut the parrot from the deck. Ugh. You hate to see a druid. Okay. I'm actually going to go for the um, Zixor game plan this time, I think. Wow, this is a very good hand. Hey, GG, Slope. For don't feed here. Nice. That's the juice. Uh, so we go bunker into master's call. I might what? Okay. So opponents uh, not running. Oaken summons. Is it not a slow druid? Is it an aggro deck? That's running a minion that can't attack? Appears to be so. So many of my cards draw cards! Oh wait, no, that gets overwritten. We're fine. Reflect in the moon well. I will do no such thing. What is it? Alright, where's my is dread it? scale? Found him. That's worth an overdraw for sure. Uh, try and play your arbor up. See what happens. Oh yes, let's buff the one that can attack instead of the ones that are your wing condition. Goodbye board. That's a strong tower. I mean, it is until we fill it with poison. Until this uh, well, one-eyed lizard spits on it. Oh, hey, thanks. <laughs> It's a lizard, kind of looks like a worm thing. Lizard, worm, what's the difference? I mean, to this day, scientists can't answer it. That question. Alright, I'm having 
way too much fun with this uh, scaly boy, so. I'm gonna keep him on the board for a bit. Next turn, probably worth getting the uh, the porcupine down and start actually doing damage. They're very different, Raffle? I've seen no evidence of that, no. <laughs> Happy to see the opponent has learned their lesson. I want to kill this one off because they kill each other. All face, perfect. Great shots. I think I still have the first ice trap up, right? Yep. They just really like face tanking these. Do -do. Oh, I should have done this first. You know what? I want max damage here. Isaac, sir. And go here, then here, then play the double bird. If the opponent is. Yeehaw. Jam would be so disappointed. So is the line shooting its teeth or something? Or something, I don't know. But well, it's one of those mysteries that again science just hasn't quite figured out. You asked for it. My fang and claw. I'm just gonna keep the porcupine. I always wanted to know how Ragnaros fits inside Major Domo. Oh, fun fact about Ragnaros, he's, he's actually very small in person. Um, like Hearthstone cards, sometimes it's very difficult to understand the scale of things, but like in reality, Ragnaros is a little itty bitty. He just fits right inside uh, Major Domo's breast pocket. Done. 
Reality? Yeah, reality. Ruffle never played HOTS, it seemed? Well, that's where you're wrong, because I did play HOTS, because it was the only MOBA that I could wrap my tiny brain around. It did all the hard things for me. So mini rag is the true rag? No, mini rag is just an even smaller version of Ragnaros. Where he could fit. It's like a uh like a nesting dolls thing where he could actually fit in uh, Ragnaros's breast pocket. We have many secrets. I don't want to get second fair doomed. That's a fireball. I am okay with that. Give me another beast. Oh dear god, that is a beast. Three out of four right here. Oh, that's only two out of four. Your character in WoW is also tiny? Yeah, it's a small World of Worldcraft after all. You're not ready for this. Yeah! Naturally, they all fit in your computer? Yeah. Just science guy. Come on. Oh my god, that's two fireballs at her minion. Well, <laughs> there was an attempt. We know they have a fireball in hand. We know I have a minion on board, and I want to maintain that pressure. Ow. Oh my god, please fireball it again. Please. I'm going to quit school and get all my education from Raffle now on. I am not responsible for that. Not financial advice, by the way. Still fireball my minion. That's a little bit better than just ripping a fireball, I suppose. Yoop! Alunith? In the year of our Lord 2022? Unbelievable. I'd like to welcome back your opponent to the game of Hearthstone. <laughs> We've missed you. I'm glad you're back. Uh, things have changed a little bit, as I'm sure you've seen. Rexa versus Magni. All right. Fun's over, I guess. First Pirate Warrior of the day. What'd you call me? 
uh, probably keep the driving griffin and oh, this isn't that bad of a hand I would like to find um a different opponent this is a good hand if it we weren't up against pirate warrior Might have to coin Griffin next turn. Unless they don't have a cannon. Oh! Okay, I'm into that. Turn one patches draw, maybe? Opium? Okay. Give me the Dread Scale. I'm. So unlucky. All right, we've got this for a um, three mana pirate. Glory. I'm here for three mana pirate, so I kind of like to draw a plus trap, maybe. Hey, Tossless. Coin Tavish might just be my only hope at this point. This also kills a three mana pirate, but like doesn't get good value. No, oh, it kills that, which is in their deck for some reason. I think I don't want the Dread Scale until after the uh, the cannon shots anyway, because the, that could just be one of the ways that they clean off the cannon shots. Although they've got weapons, of... kind of taking a beating right now is the problem. Nothing else to do but this, and hope I get a real good Tavish next turn. Explosive pack tactics Tavish? Yeah, that might be my best bet here. My only bet. Um, gotta coin it. Well. Huh. I think I still have to play the Tavish. But that's a good follow up. Okay, here's the pack tactics. Explosive, please, 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 I lose. Like, it could have gone with the sure clear on the explosive trap, but, like, that doesn't, that's not a uh, proactive enough play against a deck that has uh, inevitability against you. That was dramatic. Okay, uh, look for Master's Call off of this. And then hope that we don't get double devolved again. Ooh. Uh, this is way too many cards, so I'm going to go for it. I ain't talking. 
<laughs> oh my god, why can we never punish anyone for that ridiculousness? Why would you do that? Oh, that's that's literally the quote. That's the exclamation point rap play. They did it. Nature waits for no one but me. Turn we go here, coin, don't feed, I think. Because I need to... Like, I actually do have too many cards in hand. Or I could coin a... Wrap. And then we get to buff both of these. The one time and I'm not playing Big Beast Hunter. This is going to be way too many cards if I play it, right? Because it's coin... I'm down two, and I gain four. No, I'm down three, and I gain four. So I'll go up to ten. I'll overdraw one. Sure, I can go here and uh, don't feed, and that should get me a lion, which is the last piece that I think I need. They have one, two, three, four. Uh. I would like to buff the parrots. They don't have that luxury, though. Got too many cards in hand. My deck is drawing too well right now. Wasn't planning to bait out a devolve there, but I'm sure glad we did. Nature waits for no one but me.
always honker. Bill always over. Who was it this time? Oh yeah. Honker. Who else would it be? good shots there for this uh, the explosive trap not a honker this time yeah that's disappointing also disappointing um i need to find oh no i don't have a way to win from here do i This could be it. They're out of devolves, right? This order seems a little questionable for a great many reasons. Notably, they missed an obscene amount of damage. I assume they have the shutter at this point, right? I see
that's the shutter. Still always offer. I think my hope is that they just get stuck with a bunch of wind chills in hand. That's the out that I'm playing towards. You're playing the wind chills. No, you're not. Don't be silly. Are they already out of shutters? Playing the... Playing the healing totem didn't do anything there. Oh my god, this little piggy peep keeps going wee wee wee. And space issues? Yeah, I, I think they're close. Like, I think they maybe have one more shutter walk. Because they've played one windshield, they've drawn like about a billion. The fact that they are playing one. Okay, they do have one more shutter, but so that one can't fail. As long as they leave a shutter on board, it can't fail, but I can. I needed that to go off sooner. 
I can clear with the uh, Zixor next turn, right? Or at least clear one of them. Uh, so these do five each? I think I need to clear the Shutterwalks. Opponent lost their Bolner. Like, this could just end up putting more wind chills in their hand, which never punished, I guess, but like. I don't. I think they want to dump cards after the shutter, not before. Otherwise, they're not making progress. This doesn't make sense. There you go. I want the Lothab on the board. I want it to get stuck in their hand. To create the hand space issues that I'm looking to. Happy Nth. Thank you for the two months. Remember your prime I just did? Well, thank you. What is the plan? The plan is to hopefully fill their hand with... Uh, Wind chills so that they can't get Shutterwalks back. It's not going to work out, but, like, that's the plan. I think the more grumbles they add, the worse it gets, too. They keep doing it. This is just not good ordering. That's... Potentially going to delete a Shutterwalk. Yeah. They did get zero Shutterwalks back from this. Although, no. Yeah. Because they're just going to bounce more. They're only going to get one Shutterwalk a turn. I could just keep rolling Misha's. Because they've played so many Grumbles. <laughs> Somehow they get bailed out there. That, that was unbelievably lucky of them to... Get a chain gang after like the 16 grumbles that they've played. But like, I don't think anything they're doing is happening in the correct order. I just got really unlucky there. I wasn't gonna win, but they shouldn't have won that turn. Like, the fact that they got three grumbles on or three shutters on the board after. Playing so many grumbles that game unnecessarily after continually adding cards to their hand before playing or it, adding battle cries or minions to board before playing the shutter that bounced them all back to hand. Like that was. It's like we're going back in time to the beginning of the stream again. Nope, I'm not playing against Pirate Warrior with this deck. The opponent broke Raffle. You should have seen the questline hunter that we faced earlier. How bad was it? They coined Arcane Shot on turn one, and that was very far from the worst play that they made. The hero powered their own bomb for two damage. And they furious, yeah, they furious held with a nearly full hand.
Okay, Master Skull is the card that we want. I also want a Don't Feed. None will survive. Mm. This is rough. About when they played both halves of the Rapid Fire before playing for your style? Oh, right, that was a thing they did too, wasn't it? <laughs> like, I mean, it's impossible to keep track of all the ridiculous things that they did. We'll see how wide they go into this board, whether or not this makes the is our turn, but yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting, which means I probably just have to play a nice trap. I don't have a minion coming down for a bit, so maybe I can slow down some of their damage. slow enough to justify Master's Call. The problem is, like, that damage gets up on me in a hurry. Doo -doo. I'm overdrawing here, but I've got the important cards, so. And last time I said that, I immediately burned Don't Feed the Animals, but I don't think that Don't Feed is going to be enough in this matchup. Here, here, here. It's fine. Job done. No, I can't count. A little something I whipped up. Happy to see this ordering. I don't think it matters. Opponent's deck is uh, gooder enough than ours that it can afford to make mistakes. Um, seems pretty likely we're dead here, right? Guaranteed we're dead. I know they have a deadly poison in hand, even with the uh even with the ice trap they kill me. Maybe I should have kept a Serpent Balloon in case of uh, Quest Rogue. Because this could very well hit a Dread Scale. Nope, they Full Mold. Got a Dread Scale anyway, but I don't know that I'm going to need it. I'm not going to mess around taking unnecessary damage this game. Um, last time against Kingsbane Rogue, that kind of, um, well, made me lose. So I'm going to try and avoid that this time. We'll take a turn off. This sets up the Master's Call pretty well. So I'm going to take advantage of that. Doo -doo.
give me that. Not what I want. I just want to force them to respond to this. This isn't likely to be a matchup where we get a lot of dread scale value, so. Um, I don't know. Just try and keep pace with the opponent. They're going slow. Might be to my advantage. But often the ways that they deal with this are by sending their face into it, which isn't all that bad for me. That's not their face. Hopefully Tavish can save us, but I'm going to be taking it this turn. No Kingsbane? Is it just like the aggro deck? Or the straight aggro rogue? Or are they just struggling to find the Kingsbane? I, I desperately, desperately need an explosive trap from this or I lose the game. So, please save me. Oh, thank you. Oh, you gave me a heart attack there, Tavish. Yeah, so it is Kingsbone. Good sequencing from the opponent. Although, I guess they could have gotten the attack to save a weapon charge. Alright, so the game plan, what this was trying to set up was this into a lion, which we have. Which hopefully denies their... have we seen double uh, South Sea? No, only one South Sea. Doesn't quite deny their... Um, Oil, but yeah, like they've got it here. Come in turn, I could go here and here. So use this to kill off that, and then play the parrot. Send everything face. That's a lot of damage. It's uh eleven plus uh. Not quite enough. 11 plus uh, 12. So. Maybe I do this here. Try and deny some damage from hand. Um, just about any source of damage kills me. We're dead. Stab or eviscerate don't get us. Wait, they don't have it? Oh! <laughs> oh my god. One damage off legal. Oh, not the druids. 
The nightmare shall end. By fang and claw. It's tempting to keep the ice trap for the Oaken summons, but um, I just like need to hard mull for my win conditions. These aren't good draws, unfortunately. Cthune is a little bit slower, but this hand is very slow as well. We go for the Zixor game plan. Master's Call is beautiful. If it's Cthune, they kill me a lot slower than, like, Kazakuzin. And, um, it's maybe good for me. That might be able to set up a Zixor turn, but... I see a lot less uh, Cthulhu Druid on Ladder recently. That's because it's just, like, not as strong as uh, the Kazakus Man Druid. And they kind of have a little bit of inherent anti-synergy associated with them. I do want to play the Ice Trap. Yeah. I can't win by denying their game plan. I need to work towards realizing my own, I think. Free of that blasted tower. Oh, my opponent just won the game. Serpent Boom can still save? Not really. I don't know that I can do 50 or 49 damage over the course of this game, and then that number is only going to go up from here. Like, swinging the board back is only half of it. Maybe Big Zixor gets me there since I don't have big buffs on the Porcupine anyway. Needs to be Serpent Bloom here. GG. Welcome, who? It's it's already hard enough to beat uh, Oaken Summons on four, but it only got worse for us from there. Like, Druid is just a horrendous matchup for this deck. Uh, speaking of horrendous matchup... Forsaken. By fang and claw. 
Bunker. We go ingenuity plus the secret that we hit. Kind of the worst one to hit with that. It's Knuckles. Thank you for the 10 bones. Okay, that's the coin gone, so we can start fishing for the ice trap. I guess we die. But I had the nuts again. We're not playing a spell this turn, so it doesn't matter. Trying to get the ice trap down. Why are they going after the minion? been cursed every other opponent is today is running geist well that sounds like good news to you for you and i'm combo priest well why aren't they dead by turn six Wait, they both got- oh, that's not how I wanted that to interact. Uh, I guess I, today I learned. Wait, it only went up to three still? They didn't stack? Hold on, that interaction is terrible. Rotted. Thank you for the uh, 25 minutes. Really appreciate that. We love the rotted zombie. 
He raffled the demon on your deck was cool. I've got bad news for you, though. Somebody in my YouTube comments just said that they lost some games with it, so the deck was bad. I guess that disqualifies the 70% win rate I had through um, over 30 games, I think. I don't know. Sounded like a skill issue to me. Stats beyond my own are also on my side. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with this. Maybe it's a uh, combo priest and I can... Oh, okay. Uh... Uh... Weasels? If it's weasels, do I want to get like Zixors into my deck? Either way, this hand is atrocious right now. I'm just going to take the two for a bit. This one will draw the Zixor. Why? What? Oh, well, I've lost. My hand is way too slow for this one. But also, their deck is way too slow for <laughs> reality. Like, this deck wants to have the sword equipped pretty much this turn. And, like, the cards that they've added makes this set a lot slower. So, it gives me a chance. They're not even that reliable into um, the three mana spell, which is, like, the most important spell in the deck. Zixor is also way too slow. I'm just not going to have the mana for him, unfortunately. Um, really needed to find a porcupine faster than this. Twilight's Call. Hit a Dead Ringer. Never lucky. Never punished. <laughs> Why would you do that? That oh my god. I can't take this anymore today. The end is near. 
I would that that just makes no sense. These are the three that you need. You win the game at the end of my turn. I'm losing my mind today with the plays that my opponents are making. No. No, it wasn't. <laughs> um, in fact, it removed exactly one power of, off the board, too. So maybe that's what they're going for. Con Sporty, thank you for the prime. Yeah. Uh, Warlock means I need to go fast, I guess. The fun Gul'dan skin? What is he, like the the Easter Warlock? Ah uh, yes, that brings me back to my childhood. Hey, that's a buffed boy. I think that's the first time I've hit the Porcupine off of the Ingenuity. Which, like, to be fair, the odds aren't great. Oh. Oh wait, this is better for me. This gives me a chance. Plus they overdraw, so they automatically lose, right, chat? My hand is too Oh, Burnt Wisp GG. Yeah, that was literal infinite value we just deleted. save us all some time here. I do not have an answer to that in the time it will take for the opponent to kill me. devolves and clears all of my boards and prevents me from ever attacking, so going to be a tough one. You have some fairly important cards, though. Oh, wait, no, I just never have a chance. I... I'm in trouble. Unless it's Big Shaman. But, looks like Frog Shaman, so. Gonna be a rough one. Especially with this hand. 
That's incredible. Okay. Sure. Go ahead and kill that. Big Shaman is much better for me, I think. But they still rend evolve, so that's still a big problem. Look for free ice trap and freezing trap. Back tactics is probably just gonna have to be good enough. Go here, here, hero power next turn. And then look to do something with the porcupine. Now, does Firestone have info on which card Deathwing is in the opponent's hand? Um, I don't know. But we just, we, I mean, all we know is that there is a Deathwing. Right? But. I don't know if, if it actually is certain that it's that one. I attack, but that's not how that weapon's meant to work. Couple more of those. I mean, it's only 12. What's the worst that could happen? There are a lot of bad things that could happen. Wind chill. Ogre. Hey, they've got poisonous too. We need to taunt totem. Ooh. Get the devolve out of the way. Alright, how skilled am I? Can I roll this honker? Nope. Sure hope they don't have another devolve.
Oh! What? Oh! <laughs> oh, the synergy chat. Wait, am I dead? I'm not dead. How much would Parrot deal after Porcupine? Seven. I mean, I was always going to roll a Huffer there anyway, right? Oh god. Why is it always more shamans? Free shaman, best deck in the meta right now. Uh, no. Probably not. One of them, but I don't think it's the best deck. Also, like, the line is pretty arbitrary between the best deck and the second best deck most of the time. There's rarely a deck that's head and shoulders above the rest. You're from the Meowth's podcast and you're really good on there? Well, happy to hear that. Glad you're enjoying it. Okay, that's a big boy. Maybe I just throw this out next turn and see if I can bait out the Devolve. Because it's kind of spooky, right? Nature waits for no Plus, I don't want to take repetitive damage if I can avoid it. They only drew one card off of that. So it's maybe their ice fishing. Could be a wind chill as well. Card draw going. turn uh, such a beautiful design. Spartan me I what <laughs> those are certainly some cards Do I want more Zixors? I don't think I do. I want to set up the potential for copying the... Oh, God. Oh, I forgot about the uh, bunker still being in play. Uh, right. I have most of the things that I need. Is it Reno? And maybe that's why they're running some atypical cards. Oh, I really... Th th it's always the don't feed that I burn, isn't it? You better watch your step and help out.
That would have been a lot of damage represented as well. Oh well. There's two of those? Oh, the opponent really hates Questline Hunter. We know it's not Rena though. I'm actually going to hold off on hero powering exactly this turn because I want the pack tactics to go off on our um, Forky Boy. Hey, welcome, Hipsy. No, give me more Forky Boys. Nature waits for oh, God. No uh, that's not the Devolve. We're fine. Avalanche. Okay. Uh, what am I even looking for off of this? Ingenuity, parrot, lion. That's maybe a little bit too hard on the... Go here. Play around the Devolve. I know that's not Devolve most of the time. Oh. Fine. Oh my god, I had two already. Oh, I hate this interaction so much. Wait, this could be good with... Oh my god. I can unfreeze my stuff. I can continue doing it with the parrot. So I'm gonna hold the uh, the porcupine for a bit. Cause that kind of neutralizes their shutter, right? Miss damage. So it's uh, ten, uh, fifteen, nineteen. I'm a little bit short still. I think I still just take it. If they play the shutter, I can just play the final parrot. They don't both trigger, right? They don't have the space for it. Cool. My 
Oh my god, what a beautiful game this was. Opponent molding? Not yet. <laughs> they don't know about this last one. Wait, they've been Galakrond? <laughs> How many things are they doing right now? Alright, we don't need to be on them. But I'm going to! <laughs> I'm just tired of getting frozen by shamans today. What just happened? I got a show. I got devolved into a showstopper, and then ended up using that to my advantage with the uh, the parrots. So I just moved off of the porcupine game plan and uh, was able to unfreeze my board consistently over the course of a couple games.